painful medical condition called lymphedema. Explain. He swells up his left leg. It's very difficult. He has a lot of fatigue throughout the match. They had a tough semifinal against Karai. Watch for fatigue for Seaman and Whitmarsh. Now it's kind of like a Casey Martin syndrome, but the difference here, the Kenyan Seaman, he's not putting or riding around in a golf cart. He's jumping, hitting, diving, and digging limbs. Canyon Seaman and Mike Whitmarsh against Dax Holdren and Eric Fenoy Moana. Whitmarsh and Seaman will be in the dark uniforms. Dax Holdren and Eric Fenoy Moana in orange. Dax and Fenoy are the top seeded team here in Manhattan Beach. And Whitmarsh and Seaman are the number two seed. So Canyon Seaman set to serve first. You'll keep your eye all match long. The left leg sometimes can get eight pounds heavier than the left leg. Well, just look at your screen. That left leg is twice as big as the right right now. Keep an eye on Canyon Seaman. He's had a long, tough day. Right, and can he last here in the heat? And the initial play is bounced off the top of the tape by Dax Holdren. Now, Dax is a lefty. He's 29 years old. He has nine wins on the AVP Tour. He's tied with Bob Clem and Steve Obradovich, trying to get his 10th today and win Manhattan for the first time. Life. Canyon, cut shot, yes. Canyon Seaman is a bright kid, 30 years old. He got a Karch Karai scholarship when he was a youngster to attend Stanford. The NCAA Player of the Year in 1993. And Holdren spikes it down. Now, if you followed beach volleyball on NBC at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, you know Eric Fenoy Moana. Fenoy is now 33 years old, eight career wins, and of course, one of them, the gold medal match against the Brazilians. 2 1 our score. Fenoy Moana and Holdren leading. Fenoy with the dig. And no one. Nice dig back. And Canyon pops it over. Holdren, Canyon's there. Can he put it away? Yes, he does. Early on, you've already got Canyon Seaman extolling the crowd, saying, get me going, pump me up. There you're gonna see Seaman dropping off the net, quick hands, Whitmarsh, Cheetah-like reactions, getting the ball back in play, and, it, and to finish off the rally, Whitmarsh's block causing difficulties, Seaman picking it up defensively. Canyon Seaman serving. A lot of jump serves in pro beach volleyball. Dax Holdren smacking it right through. Now Dax is a new partner for Eric Fenoy Moana. Dax played with his longtime friend Todd Rogers for 12 years, but this year making the change and it's benefited him. Most definitely. Speaking with Dax earlier, he's, he's a very unassuming kind of guy and he said, playing with Fenoy, he's taught me not to show my emotions on my sleeve. If I'm feeling down, don't show it. More importantly, don't let your opponent know. This is a three game match. First two games to 21, the third game is to 15. And one of the legends in beach volleyball, 40 year old Mike Whitmarsh in his 13th season out of San Diego, California. He is a former basketball player. He has 28 career wins. One of the great players of all time. Here comes Fanoi Moana. And he smacks it straight down. So we're in game one. Fanoi Moana and Holdren leading Seaman and Whitmarsh 4 3. You're watching the AVP on NBC. Chris, there you see Canyon Seaman. Every chance he gets, he's going to try to elevate that leg just to get a little relief. Once again, the condition is called lymphedema. It is a circulatory problem of the lymphatic system. It causes his left leg to swell up, and uh, Canyon plays on. He will get every serve, most likely. Here he comes, and he spanks one off the tape out of bounds. So Fenoy Moana and Holdren get a point. And Chris, you could see right there Canyon taping that ball. When his spikes are going off the top of the net, that's a sign of fatigue. 5 3 our score. Fenoy and Dax have led all the way. Hey, get up! And Canyon into the bottom of the net. 
So it is 6-3. If you're new to volleyball or you haven't been reading the rule book lately, the rules changing in 2000. Point per play scoring or rally scoring, ping pong scoring if you like. Earlier on we saw Whitmarsh getting a serve that bounced off the top of the net for the fans watching. That serve is now good. It used to be a let serve. And Eric Fenoy Moana once again serving Canyon Seaman at 6-3. And Canyon chopping inside. So Canyon Seaman has won over $560,000 in his career and six titles. He won his first back in 1997 with partner Dane Blanton. They have since split up. The Olympic gold medalists going their separate ways. Still friends, but not playing together. 6-4. Holdren. Canyon with a dig. Get up here. And chopping out of bounds. That was a poor set by Mike Whitmarsh. You actually played with Whitmarsh. He's a pretty good bump setter, but not that time. Absolutely one of the best at wheeling off the net after blocking and setting in transition. That time, though, he had Kenyon Seaman well off the net. Kenyon unable to convert, and they need to convert every one of those point opportunities. Benoit Moana and Holdren, one win and two seconds in four AVP tournaments this hey, year. Hey, hey, hey. Holdren with a dig. He's tough to block because he's left-handed. You don't see many lefties on the beach anymore. Speaking with Mike Whitmarsh, he's always said that Dax Holder, one of the most difficult hitters on the tour for him to block, to line up and to really read. So Holdren will serve once again. Once again to Canyon Seaman. There's a good set. Holdren is there over the top. And Holdren puts it away. So Dax Holdren, who grew up in Santa Barbara, California, he was a pitcher as a youngster. And again, Chris, Dax Holdren just moving so fluidly defensively, coming around the block of Hanoi, and more importantly, finishing the play. Dax Holdren, he's unassuming, he's kind of unsung, but he gets the job done. Five kills for Holdren. Not really a surprise that Seaman and Whitmarsh getting off to a slow start. That has been their pattern in matches in the past. This is game one. Fanoi Moana and Holden, the number one seeded team on top, 9-5. DP events. Each team will receive $10,000. I wish that was the team of Marlo and Dodd. I'm Chris Marlowe, my partner Mike Dodd, Rachel Perry, working the sidelines today. This is the Michelob Light, Manhattan Beach Open, presented by Xbox, the most prestigious major beach volleyball tournament on tour. The number one seeded team of Eric Fanoi Moana and Dax Holdren leading. They've led all the way. They're up 10-5. Canyon yeah. Seaman and Mike Whitmarsh, after a grueling semifinal, trying to find their rhythm. And this is how they, they come out some of the time, talking about Whitmarsh and Seaman, come out slow and kind of work their way into the match. They definitely are slow starters and uh, oftentimes tend to give up big leads toward the end of their matches as well. So we'll keep an eye on that. Here is Canyon Seaman. Lives in Hermosa Beach, California. Grew up not far from here. Went to the local high school. And he serves the ace. Canyon has one of the most lethal serves in the game when he can get it in. And you got to take note of Canyon. Always a lethal jump server. Now with the new court, eight meters by eight meters, much shorter, much smaller. Canyon will take his jump serve from at least 10 feet behind the back line. Two in a row for Seaman and Whitmarsh. Here comes Dax, and Dax thunders one through. Dax Holdren won his first tournament in 1998 in Minneapolis with partner Todd Rogers. He's won one tournament with Eric Fanoi Moana. That was earlier this year in Huntington Beach, California. First tournament of the year. They were expecting to have a big year, maybe run the, run the table, but it hasn't worked out that way. 11-7 our score, and that is an ace. Two years ago, that was the crummiest serve in volleyball, but now it's a thing of beauty. And now it's right on the line. And uh, for Holdren and Fanoi Moana, they won that first tournament of the year. There's Dax ribbing it down the line. And then it's just kind of been a lukewarm season after that. This could be a great finish for him. Third time, Fanoi and Dax have led by five points. And Canyon pumps one through. The traditional wisdom is to serve the shorter player in volleyball or the more tired player in volleyball, and they're working Canyon, aren't they? Well, in this case, it's both those factors, and also Canyon Seaman sometimes gets a lot of serves because he's such a great setter. They keep it away from his hands. Fenoy Moana. 
And he touches one. Well, Mike Whitmarsh at 6-7 will have to block some on Fanoi Moana if they're to have a chance. Game one, Fanoi and Holdren lead it 13-8. Hey, guys, I'm down here with Albert Hanneman and Lee LeGrand. There's Coach Karai over there. We're hanging out. Kind of feels like the mecca of beach volleyball here right now, doesn't it? I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it's just really happy to be a part of it and uh, good to see the tour growing. Yeah. It's awesome. Now, that's your cousin out there. There he is over there, Ifanoi. So uh, obviously, who are you rooting for? Uh, you know, I'm good friends with Canyon, but I got to go with my cousin. I mean, I really want him to win. All right, so we're just hanging out, but I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Rachel, this tournament with grand history. It started way back in 1960. Mike Bright and Mike O'Hara won the first five tournaments. As Whitmarsh is blocked. So big Mike Whitmarsh at 6'7", one of the tallest players on tour, is rejected in a spiking attempt. And Fenoy Haldren mixing it up, this time going to Whitmarsh. Dax just jumping into that angle. A little late on the press over, but got away with it. Fenoy Moana serving again. It's 14 to 8, shank pass. And down the line goes Holder. Now you mentioned that Canyon Seaman and Mike Whitmarsh had played the extra match today. They look fatigued a little bit at this moment. Very much fatigued, but also it's you've got to give credit to Fenoy Moana and Holder. And they're putting the pressure on with their jump serving right now. Unforced errors. That's a category you do not want to lead in. And when you do, you're usually behind in the score column. Go, go. Whitmarsh taps it down the line. Mike Whitmarsh played basketball at the University of San Diego, and in his senior year, he was a star. He was beaten out for Conference Player of the Year by one vote by John Stockton of Gonzaga University. Whitmarsh uh, drafted by Portland in the fifth round, NBA. They kept Jerome Kersey instead of him, and uh, eventually played in Germany and turned to beach volleyball. Oh. At one point, as Eric Fanoy Moana pounds it through, they call Eric the body for good reason. He's got a well, a Mike Dodd-like body, uh. just bursting with muscles. <laughs> oh, Sai, you're too kind, but he that is an a fanatic when it comes to working out. Yeah, takes it all very seriously. And uh, speaking with Dax Holder, and that's another thing that's really helped him is Fanoy Moana's intensity in all aspects of the game, especially when it comes to training. 16 to 10. Fanoi Moana's idol growing up, Karch Karai. And Fanoi Moana pounds 1 3. Now, normally, Whitmarsh does pretty well blocking Fanoi, but not today. Well, not so far in this first game. And there you see Canyon Seaman just throwing the hat off his head in frustration. That was a very e easy dig. Canyon Seaman been playing great defense all weekend. He should have had that one. Now keep in mind, uh, the first set or game, those terms are interchangeable. It's the best two out of three. One, go! Whitmarsh. And Here comes Fanoy. And Fanoy hits it out. No touch. No, oh, there was a touch detected. And Whitmarsh is going bananas. He said he didn't touch it. Switch sides. I got to call it. Darryl Gleason is our first referee. Switch sides, guys. But if the lines person calls a touch, I'm going to go with them, guys. Uh, Dale saying touch what he's saying, not a chance on a touch. Well, well you, you don't heard, have to go with the lines. Yeah, you heard Dale Friesen say, I'm just going to go with my linesman. That doesn't necessarily have to be the case. This ball gets ripped right off the net. Witty's screaming no touch. And that's just such a difficult play. I, I see no touch right there off the block. And uh, you can tell by Whitmarsh's reaction. The ball's well inside of his arms, off the net. And it... Game one, Fenoy and Holdren leading 17 to 11. Looks like the ref may have missed one. In the Michelob Light, Manhattan Beach Open presented by Xbox. Controversy a moment ago, they corrected the score to 18 to 10. They say that Whitmarsh did touch the ball. But Dax Holdren, he has been su superb so far. So you've got your five tool baseball players. Well, Holdren is showing all his tools out here so far. Defensively, jump serving, blasting in transition. So Holdren and Eric Fenoy Moana, the number one seeded team, leading 18 to 10 in a game to 21. Eric Fenoy Moana serving. Light, go! And Canyon touching it over the top. 
Obviously, Canyon and Whitmarsh are going to have to raise the level of their game if they hope to compete. Definitely. My, so far, Mike Whitmarsh has uh, not blocked any balls at the net, and that's something that he's going to have to contribute to get their team a little momentum. The defending champions, Stein Metzger and Kevin Wong, from a year ago, eliminated early. Cut! Whitmarsh has the block. Chris, do I know my old partner or what? I just said Whitty's going to have to come up with some blocks, and sure enough, he can respond. No one has ever been better on the AVP at just a natural blocking position. And Whitmarsh, quick with his hands, reaches across. Great penetration. Well, no one's ever been better, and no one's ever been bigger. He's 6'7", with some hops. And, and, he, and, and Mike played so much basketball growing up, he didn't get onto the beach until uh, 1986. He was just a raw talent then, but now he's really become an accomplished player. 18 to 12, and now make it 19 to 12. Remember, when you miss the serve, it's point per play, and now Holdren and Rogers are closing in. And Chris, there are missed serves, and then there are very bad missed serves. When you've got your partner just starting to get going at the net, you want to keep that ball in and keep the pressure on. They'll try Whitmarsh. Mike Whitmarsh dug up. Got to come over it. Maximum of three hits. And Canyon Seaman looks much better now. So after a slow start, Seaman and Whitmarsh starting to get a groove, but it may be too late. Well, they're, da they're down 19-13. You're going to see Seaman getting his rhythm, just ripping the ball down the middle. But if they can get a couple more points, get a rhythm going, it'll help them going into game two. Mike Whitmarsh. Yeah, Eric Fenoyma, one up, dug by Canyon. Holdren's got a chance. Canyon with another dig. Can he get to 14? Yes, he does. And the crowd comes alive. So all of a sudden, you've got Whitmarsh and Seaman. Whitmarsh getting a block. Seaman coming up with two huge digs. It's going to get him some momentum. Maybe to come back in this game, definitely going into game two. Canyon Seaman just digging rips. And Outstanding defensive plays. Nice transition. A 4-1 scoring run and angle, for angle, Seaman angle. and Whitmarsh. Yeah. And over the top, Eric Fanoi Moana scores point number 20. So the first game point for Eric Fanoi Moana and Dax Holder. Fanoi with a little smile on his face. He got dug two times in a row. He said, I'm not going back for three with a little choppy cross court. Olympic gold medalist, E. Fanoi, serving for the set. Whitmarsh, and Whitmarsh pounds it through. So Mike Whitmarsh, the silver medalist, will trudge to the other side. Very hot today in Manhattan Beach, as you might expect in August. We've got a great crowd. Estimate up to 10,000 crammed in here on the pier everywhere. We've been. There you go. We've been competing since Friday. Foggy Friday and Saturday, but today it's been sunny from the get-go. For game one, and Fanoi Moana puts it away. So game one is over. Eric Fanoi Moana and Dax Holdren defeat Canyon Seaman and Mike Whitmarsh rather easily, 21 to 15. And here you're going to see Fanoi just banging down the line. A high energy game for Fanoi Moana and Holdren. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. You're watching the AVP on NBC. So if you win at Manhattan, interestingly, you get a plaque on the Manhattan Beach Walk of Fame. Explain. Chris, the plaque is built right into the pier, yeah. and it's there in perpetuity. As long as that pier is standing, your name is going to shine. And uh, it's something that every player growing up, they want to get their name on that pier. And my partner, Mike Dodd, with five of those plaques, if you walk down to do a little fishing, you're bound to trip over a Hovland Dodd plaque, which is really disgusting. <laughs> I'm Chris Marlowe with Mike Dodd and Rachel Perry. The 43rd annual edition here in Manhattan Beach. Well, Chris, you won two of them yourself. I mean, what was it like back then? 25 years ago. <laughs> With Jim Mingus. We were able to pull one out. So the Michelob Light Manhattan Beach Open presented by Xbox continuing, winning the first game.
was Eric Fanoi Moana and Dax Holder, and they won 21 to 15. They win one more, and their plaques will be going in to that pier walk of fame. The famous uh, Manhattan Beach Pier. We're just south of the pier. And yeah, if you walk down that pier, you will see the names, the great names, Mike Bright, Mike O'Hara, Ron Von Hagen, Ron Lang, Sinjin Smith, Randy Stokos, Tim Mahovlin. They're all there. Yeah, Eric Fanoi Moana. So far, Fanoi Moana has been unstoppable. I both, asked both Fanoi Moana and Holdren, high energy, high impact throughout the first game. Whit Marsh and Seaman got a little bit run going, got a block, couple digs. Let's see if they can carry that over into game two. Whitmarsh slugs it through. How many blocks do you think Whitmarsh needs in this game for their team to win? I'd put it at about three or four. Okay. And also some intimidations. As soon as he can start getting some blocks, then he can force some unforced errors, and that's where his block really takes effect. Whitmarsh with just one block in the first game, so we'll keep track of that. Can Whitmarsh get three or four blocks in this game, and will it propel his team? Fenoy Mawana. And Chris, how do you combat a great block? Playing great cover defense. That time, Eric Fenoy Mawana covering the block, digging it up, and putting the ball away, saving the point. And Whitmarsh just slapping his head, saying, I was supposed to roof that thing straight down. Dax Holder and his wife is a professional volleyball player, Jen, as he serves that one out of bounds. So uh, they got two players making some money on the AVP tour. Nothing wrong with a double income. I, uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to enjoy that a few years with my wife, Patty, as well. That's right. Here comes Dax Holder, and Canyon is there. Canyon on the left, and he is stuffed. Dax Holdren hurting his pinkies on that one. And Chris, look at Dax there. What do great players do? He hits a very so-so shot down the line, but he makes up for his bad shot with an absolute roof on Canyon Seaman. Dax Holdren getting up, getting over, and taking the hard angle. $175,000 in combined prize money this weekend. $20,000 to the winning team. 3-3. Three, three. Canyon, oh, what a dig. Fenoy, and he puts it away. Eric Fenoy, the body, doing some damage. You're going to see Fenoy just ripping the ball, taking it over his head, a la Jimmy Mingus. Dax Holder give him a nice little set, and Fenoy hits the back line for a huge point. Game two, Fenoy and Holder in lead, Seaman and Whitmarsh by one. All autographed by the winning men's and women's team. Now, that's a tough question. Boy, I tell you, that's going <laughs> to... i tell you what, you really got to dig. Go to avp.com. Uh, 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 are we thinking Sinja? No. Uh, no. Uh, are we thinking Von... H no. Uh, uh, uh. There's one guy. Pink hat. <laughs> Eric Fenoy Moana and Dax Holdren have dominated this match so far. They won the first game, 21-15. Game two, they lead 5-4. Chris Marlowe, Mike Dodd, five-time Manhattan Fenoy. Open winner, Dax. and Dax Rachel sir. Perry. And now Dax Holdren will serve it. Here comes Whitmarsh. And Whitmarsh, who used to be a one-time uh, limousine driver in his younger years, to make a little cash. Whit is from the limo to the hard cross-court angle. Mike Whitmarsh has learned this game. He's learned it well. And uh, now he's got to get himself going up at the net. It's time for Whitmarsh to take control if he's going to get his team back in this match. 5-5. Five, five. Hey. Oh, yes. Dax Holdren pounding it through. How hard was it for Dax Holdren to leave his longtime partner, Todd Rogers? I don't think it was that difficult. He and Rogers were having uh, some problems, and he had a chance to play with the uh, Olympic gold medalist, Fenoy Moana, and it's been a great move for him. Fenoy serving to Canyon, and Canyon is stuffed again by Dax. You know, Dax is not reputed to be a menacing blocker, but... But again, like he's just so deceptive in everything he does on the volleyball court. This time again, pressing up, pressing over. Canyon Seaman does not hit a high ball. He hits it low and hard right over the top of the net. So if you make your move, you can block that ball. No, 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 no. Canyon tapping it just out of bounds. Canyon wants a touch. 
but our first referee saying no. That's a tough break there for Canyon Seaman. Cuffing the ball down the line, hits the top of the net. Again, a sign of fatigue. Keep your eye on Seaman and Whitmarsh. Fanoi Moana and Holdren are continuing to apply the pressure, uh, continuing to be aggressive, making the difference in this match. Canyon with six kills, but he's got seven errors, which is not a good ratio. So Eric Fanoi Moana serving it. Right to Canyon. And Canyon hits with heavy heat. This is game two. Fanoi Moana and Holdren in command. 8-6, back to Manhattan after this. We're back at Manhattan Beach, a capacity crowd. Eric Fanoi Moana and Dax Holdren winning game one, leading here in game two. Mike Whitmarsh and Canyon Seaman in the black uniforms trying to turn things around, but they haven't been able to yet. They haven't been able to, and Chris, if you're Whitmarsh and Seaman, you gotta say, hey, we're only down two. Let's make some things happen defensively. Dax Holdren has been unstoppable. And there you see a frustrated Canyon Seaman right in the groove, perfect position, ball just bouncing off his hands. Those have been popping up all weekend for him. He's got to get some big digs to get them back in this game. If Dax wins today, he will tie Buzz Schwartz and Gary Hooper for 34th on the all-time list. Two great names. And Canyon, what an effort by Canyon Seaman. Mike, you played beach volleyball for 20 years. You know, sometimes a play like that can get you invigorated. And Chris, that was turning service reception into defense right there. The ball hitting the top of the net. Seaman with a great defensive reception for the point. So Canyon Seaman will serve it. Going with the floater, 9-7 in game two. Canyon with a dig. Canyon with a dig. Now, does he have enough to put it away? Not yet, Fenoy on the attack. Fenoy, Moana's it. Fenoy, Moana's it, you gotta love that. Hey, I like the strategy though. You get a good shot there of Eric. The body, Fenoya, just finishing off here, ripping the ball. But for Seaman and Whitmarsh, I like the float serve on Fenoya Moana, picking up some defensive plays. I like Whitmarsh blocking Fenoya Moana a lot more than I like him blocking Dax Holder. Yeah, Whitmarsh has had no success with Dax so far. And Canyon Seaman, of course, playing with the condition called lymphedema, a circulatory problem that swells up his left leg to sometimes eight pounds heavier than his right leg. He drags it around the entire tournament. And he is having trouble getting out of the sand. He's frustrated because Dax Holdren is stuffing him. I tell you right now, Eric Fanoi Moana may have won the gold medal site, but right now Dax Holdren is the MVP of this match. He is doing everything possibly you can do on a volleyball court to make his team successful. Just pressing over again, not high, but tight, over the net on Canyon Seaman. Whitmarsh and Seaman forced to call timeout. They are in deep trouble at the moment. The 2002 Michelob Light Manhattan Beach Open presented by Xbox will continue, so don't go away with seven and seven going for eight today didn't quite have enough steam to get by Whitmarsh and Seaman but they may have taken so much out of Whitmarsh and Seaman that they can't do it here comes Ifanoi and Whitmarsh is up high boy Whitmarsh athletic ability Stuck in the sand and then exploding. And like the that. great, the great read for Whitmarsh. He hesitates, goes low, and then just swats the ball back into the open court. Huge play for Whitmarsh, saving that point. 11-8 now. The orange guys are leading. Fenoy gets another kill quickly, and Gino and Big Fred, the Brazilians, got third place along with Brent Doble and Karchkarai. Paul Baxter and Alika Williams, a big surprise in fifth, along with Todd Rogers. Sean Scott, Sean Rosenthal, Mark Williams, Mike Lambert, and Lee Legrand finishing in seventh place. Some of the other finishers here at Manhattan Beach, California. What a dig by Dax! And Kenya's got a limp over to get it. And Whitmar shovels it over. Fanoi Moana. And Fanoi puts an exclamation mark on a tremendous rally. And Chris, if body language is anything, you can 
You can see that Fanoi Moana and Holdren are on top of their game. Whitmarsh and Seaman doing everything they can to try to turn it around, working extensively on defense. But right now, it's all Fanoi Moana and Holdren. E. Fanoi just ripping it again for another huge point. Fanoi Moana, 11 kills. We're coming back. Fanoi and Dax lead it 13 to 8. Junior Seau, San Diego Chargers, expected to be rejuvenated this year. And a huge Whitmarsh fan. He and Whitty are buddies down there living in Del Mar, California. Chris Marlowe, Mike Dodd, Rachel Perry on hand. We're witnessing a thumping right now at the Michelob Light Manhattan Beach Open, presented by Xbox. Dax Holdren, Eric Fanoi Moana, a team that has never won Manhattan. Fanoi, growing up five blocks from here, said it's his lifetime dream to win this tournament. And Dax Holdren, they have been in command 21-15 in game one. Here in game two, they lead it 13-9. And Canyon and Whitmarsh have to make some hay now on the good side. And Holdren again. Holdren was superb in game one. Fanoi has been magnificent in game two. And I'm very surprised to see them continue to serve Dax Holdren. No, He's forget just it. hitting such a high percentage. Forget it. And Whitmarsh is not getting close. Forget it. Quit serving him. Like serving a young Mike Dodd. <laughs> Instead of Hovland. And Fanoi, really one of the first glaring mistakes for the team of Fanoi and Dax. And the crowd, you can sense the crowd is kind of floating to Whitmarsh and Seaman here, trying to get them going. One thing that's the universal truth with all volleyball fans, they want to see more volleyball. So Chris, what do we know? Whitmarsh continuing to serve Dax Holdren, that time reaching over into the line. Huge block for Whitty. 14 to 11, and they continue to serve Dax. And Dax continues to torture him over the top. This is kind of where you need a coach in beach volleyball to tell you, look, quit serving Dax and serve the other guy. And, so, and sometimes you just have to be your, old, your own coach. Yeah. Savvy Dax Holder. I got roofed last time. I'm going to hit a little loop shot cross court and keep it away from that Whitmarsh block. So two straight service errors for Holder and Fanoia Moana. And Chris, two service errors turn into points for Seaman and Whitmarsh. Bigger things have happened on less than that. Is there a rally in the future of Seaman and Whitmarsh? Got to get this one in. Fanoi Moana, and he hits it straight down. We're in the midst of game two. Fanoi Moana and Holdren leading 16 to 12. We're about 15 minutes from the LA airport by car and a capacity crowd here at the 2002 Michelob Light Manhattan Beach Open presented by Xbox. As we mentioned, the longest running tournament on tour. Holdren and Fanoi Moana had missed their last two serves, and now it's really trouble time for Whitmarsh and Seaman. The game is to 21. They've already lost one game, and they've got to make a move right now. Once again, back to Holdren. And Whitmarsh blocks him. I told you, Mike Dodd, serve Holdren and block him. <laughs> As always, Cy, you're right on the money. For Mike Whitmarsh, again, reaching into the angle, taking away the block, and, and Whitty's going to have to come up with at least two or three more of those big blocks to get this game. Whitmarsh has got three in this game. You said he needed four. Here comes Holdren. Whitmarsh off his arms, out of bounds. Off the hand. Little so smile there between Whitmarsh and Holdren. 14. Dash getting roofed last time, came back with big heat. The trouble for Whitmarsh and Seaman, down by three points. Every successful service reception for Holdren and Fenoy, they're going to get a point and they're going to keep that lead. Four points away from victory. Holdren and Fenoy Moana. Holdren digs it up. No. <laughs> And let's get the stab. 15 17. There you see Canyon Seaman. Quiet out here, The crowd sort of sensing that they're going to have to come up with something yeah, real special it. real soon. And for Seaman, he's going to have to go back, try to get a nice float serve and cause some difficulty in the service reception. They go to Holder it. Bad pass off the net. Whitmarsh has it up. Big play here. Whitmarsh. He puts it away. 
And in the process, nearly took out E. Fanoy. A little bit of contact between Fanoy and Winnie. Very good friends on and off the court. This time, Whitmarsh coming off the net, making the great play. That only happens with quickness and athleticism, then getting back right back up, putting the ball away. This is the point that they needed. A great play for Whitmarsh, an emotional play for Seaman and Whitmarsh. Three points in a row, and a good timeout call by Eric Fanoi, Moana, and Dax Holder. So things getting interesting now in game two as Mike Whitmarsh uh, starting to get on the beam. 17-16 when we come back. You're watching the AVP on NBC. Mike to make his old buddy look like he knows what he's talking about here. Whitmarsh really turning it on in the second half of this second game. And still Whitmarsh showing athleticism, coming off the net, able to put the ball away in transition as well, doing it all right now, getting he and Canyon back into the game. Fanoi Moana Holdren won game one. It's 17-16. Fanoi and Holdren here in game two. Canyon and Whitmarsh trying to tie it up right here. Holdren off Whitmarsh again. And Whitmarsh going sideways on the block instead of over. Whitmarsh going sideways. And one of the reasons it's so difficult to block Dax Holdren is that he goes up and hangs for that extra split second before he contacts the ball, throwing off the block, just beating it off Whitmarsh's arms. Eric Fanoi Moana with the serve. Canyon Fanoi. A little bit of a flipper to get that ball up. Canyon again. And Canyon into the bottom of the net. And right now, Eric Benoit Moana and his partner, Dax Holdren, are starting to feel it. And here you see kind of one of those fatigue-ridden, lackluster cut shots for Canyon Seaman into the middle of the net. And a great play for Dax Holdren. He soft blocks, and then he gets the free ball right back on Canyon Seaman again. Benoit Moana, who grew up a mile from here in Manhattan Beach. Nine. Two points away, Canyon pounds it down the line. Fanoi Moana winning an Olympic gold medal in Sydney in 2000. He compares a win here at Manhattan to that. He compares, the he compares a career it. to that. He says, if I don't win in Manhattan, I will not have had a successful career. And that includes a gold medal from Sydney. So you know Fanoi wants this. Canyon Seaman also born and raised right here in Manhattan Beach. Neither one of these players has ever won the Manhattan Open. 1917 now, Holdren, and Holdren got the touch. So right now, one point away from joining the greats, Mike Bright, Mike O'Hara, Gene Selznick, Ron Von Hagen, Matt Gage, Kent Steffes, Karch Karai, Eric Fanoi Moana, and Holdren have a chance. They will have three championship points. And just like in Sydney, I can tell you right now, the hairs on the back of Fanoi's neck are standing on end. Not yet, says Canyon Seaman. That makes it 20 to 18. So the second championship point coming up. And Chris, we can't say enough about the courageous performance by that man, Canyon Seaman, back to serve, trying to get off a good floaty. They'll serve Holdren for the win here in Manhattan Beach. Yeah. That is it! Eric Fanoi Moana and Dax Holden win here at Manhattan. Chris, too much energy, too much power. Fanoi Moana was not going to be denied today. And with the victor go the spoils. Fulfilling a childhood dream of winning the biggest and most prestigious beach volleyball tournament. Yes, Eric Fanoi Moana flashing his gold medal smile. So the first time for E. Fanoi and partner Dax Holden. And he's, he's looking like a huge weight was just lifted off his shoulder. I think he's about to pass out. He's sometimes, so happy. Sometimes with victory also comes relief. And Eric fanoy has been playing a long, long time wanting to get this Manhattan Open. Never really coming that close. For Mike Whitmarsh and Canyon Seaman, a disappointing day. They just did not have enough energy and enough pop to get it done. 21-15, 21-18. Holdren and Fanoi Moana win the Michelob Light. Manhattan Beach Open presented by Xbox. A lifelong dream comes true for Fanoi. Stay with us, more coming up. Just moments ago, Eric Fanoi Moana spotting his wife Eliza in the crowd. Eric Fanoi Moana 
who had eight wins. He was tied with the legendary John Valley on the list. He is, now has nine, and to the victor go the spoils. Standing by on the sand with the winners, yes, Rachel Perry. Rachel? Hey, thanks, guys. Dex, Ethan Oi, congratulations. Um, how does winning the gold at the Olympics compare to winning Manhattan Beach? Well, I got to say, this is uh, the gold medal was awesome, but winning in front of your hometown, uh, I can't explain in words how emotional I'll probably get in a little bit, but uh, <clears throat> it's nice to be here. Thank you for your support. I also got to say, Dax Holdren for doing very well this weekend for me, and it's not possible without my partner. Talk to me about this partnership, actually, because you had a different partner at the Olympics. You know, tell me what Dax's strengths are. He's left-handed, and he's very good at what we do. Uh, it's very difficult to play defense against him. He's a great setter, and we complement each other well. Okay, talk to me about your partner's strengths. Well, uh, he's got tons of strengths. He's, he's obviously won the gold medal. He's a great passer. He, he can obviously bring it out here. You guys saw that here in the final. Uh, and he's a very intense player. Uh, if I'm not doing my job, he's going to tell me all about it. And that's what I need sometimes, a kick in the butt. You guys are both shaking a little bit. <laughs> I think you're a little excited. Talk to me about your blocking today. Um, it seems that I'm somewhat of a streaky blocker, and today I just got in a, a streak in the finals, and it, it worked out well for us. You guys both faced a really big obstacle, literally. Uh, Whitmarsh is like six foot seven <laughs> at the net. How did you get around him? Well, Whitmarsh is one of the best blockers on the beach. He's been doing it for years. He's a great competitor. He is a silver medalist in Atlanta games. Uh, I can't say enough. I'd love for Whitty to win, but not today. All right. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you. Back to you, Chris.